The Africa Grammy Award winner Burna Boy is set to release another studio album again. The Nigeria artist who described his sound of music as the Afrofusion has made it known to his fans about what he has been working on recently. In his tweet, he urged Nigerians to listen to the pains in his voice, as he will be talking about the pains and struggles that brought him to where he is today. In his words, and I quote, I need you to listen to the pain in my voice, the pain of an outsider, forever marked by my skills, the past and the place I come from. No matter how skilled I am or honorable I proved myself. I forever suffered the full-eyed masses hatred of anything that they did not understand. I embraced my pains and turned it into the greatest weapon this world will ever know. A woman believed to be a Ghanaian woman, was filmed putting a life snake in her husband's casket before his body was committed to Mother Earth. A background voice narrating the reason for the wife's decision said the snake bite the tongue of the deceased, killing him. Hence, the wife decided to bury her with the snake that killed him. <laughs> Singer Davido's daughter, a maid, takes delivery of a Range Rover as an early birthday present. The music star took to his Instagram page on Thursday, May 6, 2021, where he shared a video of the visibly excited a maid in her new car. Happy early birthday baby at Relimadedeleke Daddy Loves You. Enjoy your moto, he captioned the video. A maid is Davido's first daughter with former partner, Sophia Momad. Are you driving? Yeah, I want to go to <laughs> Ah, Imade, don't try it. What's wrong with this? Turn it off, please. Hey, Imadi. Let him sit, it's fine. You guys, are you guys happy? Yes. Should we, should we take the car on a quick spin? Should we take a quick drive, you guys? Mommy, can you help me put on my seatbelt? Sure, I got you. Wait, let me help you. I ain't even a big boy. You're not the house to drive. Imadi. Police chased some boys who just acquired a car. They were being chased from Fela African Shrine Akeja, Lagos. According to eyewitness story, they shot at the boy at the driving seat and it led to the car having an accident. An eyewitness report that the police ran away when they saw the damage they have caused. Luckily, they all survived the accident. Okay, fine, the death, right? If they dead, right, why they run? If you're a right, why did you run? Calm down, can you tell me what happened? Can you just... No, no, for Jay. This is my car. If they're dead, right, why they run? Why they run? Why you shoot me? Why you shoot me? Why you shoot me? Now police cause this thing, right? Now police cause it. Now police. Now police, now sit. No worry, no fear your face. Nobody, they see your face. I just want to hear your testimony. Now police cause it, right? Man allegedly bathes wife with acid in Ghana. Details of the incident are still sketchy, however, according to a reports, the woman identified as Florence had moved to her father's house after her husband threw her out. The suspect later went to meet his father-in-law in guise of asking for forgiveness but sneaked into the bathroom where his estranged wife was bathing and poured acid on her. You made it clear you don't love her. You throw her out. She moves to her daddy's house. You go to the daddy to beg for forgiveness only to enter into the bathroom where your wife is bathing to pour acid on her. Thank God the police has swiftly arrested him. This is so inhuman, Crime Check TV Ghana wrote on Facebook. Pastor Enoch Adager Aidboy, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God RCCG, has lost his son, Dare Aidboy. Pastor Dare Aidboy who is one of the sons of Pastor E.A. Aidboy, died at the age of 42. He would have turned 43 next month June 9, 2021. 
According to reports, Pastor Dare Aboy officiated service on Sunday, May 2, and showed no sign of being ill. He died in his sleep on Tuesday, May 4, in Iket, Aqua Ibom State, where he was based with his family. According to an unconfirmed report, he retired to his bedroom on Tuesday and asked not to be disturbed. When his wife Temila Lua Aboy noticed her husband's unusual sleeping hours and could not reach him on phone, she raised alarm and he was discovered dead. Pastors in the church were called to pray for him, all to no avail. The younger Aboy was neither sick nor on medication when the tragic incident happened.